Just on the new on New Year's Day, we hit over 100,000 views. That's 100,000 views on our channel. We are so excited. It's like a plethora of excitement. Does that? Yeah, we'll go with it. It sounded cool, so we're gonna use it. Thank you for everybody, 100,000 views and over 2,800 subscribers with seven months of doing this. It's just amazing. So thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts to you. My name is Angelo from T-Squad RVing and it is a new year, 2021. And with a new year comes new plans, new traditions, New camping trips, new RV trips, new vacations, new weekenders, everything you could imagine you can plan in January. So as a family, we sit down every January and we go over where we want to go for the next eight, nine months, because in Michigan, we do have three good seasons. So we want to take advantage of the three seasons. So around the first of the year, we heat up the RV, we open it up, and yes, I am sitting in the RV, and yes, it is snowing behind me. So we come in the RV and we just discuss what we want to do. What modifications do we want to do to the RV to make us comfortable in the spring or when we go out for our first trip? So Sandy and I were sitting here and we were talking about what can we do to modify our RV. One thing that came to us was when we sit at that desk behind me and we work, we have our laptops open or our iPads and we're Instagramming and Sandy's working on her computer and stuff like that. The tushies get a little sore because the seat is hard. Recap, we own a Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS. We bought a Grand Design because of a few um, things that we wanted in an RV instead of us trying to add it later. Well, when you own an RV and you go through a couple weeks of uh, camping in a couple trips, you start noticing things that um, are falling apart. Or, for example, the seat behind the 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 table behind us, uh, we lowered it for our animals to lay on at night. Well, one night I just went to shut that window right there. I put one knee on it and I fell through. Not the table didn't break, but the supports on the right and left side, one of them fell. Like, how could it fall? I mean, you're supposed to allow kids on this to sleep and all that. So I looked, and you could see that it had these staples here uh, that were just holding it up. So what I did, I just threw these screws in, and I supported both ends. And I was actually even able to stand on it, and it didn't go nowhere. Well, anyways, so back at the table here, we do a lot of work. One thing that we want to change are the cushions. So these are the back cushions and the new 2020 design have two sides. They have this beautiful uh, color right here and they have the gray. It depends which way you want to go. So these are nice and thick. The density is hard and you can see that I'm trying to push and it's hard. I should say harder. This is what you sit on and let me show you the difference I could actually take two fingers from each side and push and I could actually flatten it you could see how thin the foam is on the cushion where you sit down so me sitting down yeah I mean it's it's comfortable and I could see I'm actually pushing all the way down and my butt is actually touching that wood right there. I could feel it as I move around. So I'm over here sitting down, right? Well, listen, I'm 198, 200 pounds, okay? I'm not overweight, I'm not underweight. I'm just like with the right weight I should be. That goes for this side too. I'm actually touching. Now the back is actually pretty nice. Matter of fact, Sandy and I were talking, we're like, man, 
why not get a cushion for the bottom? Wait, I got a joke. Why not get an extra cushion or a thicker cushion for your tushin? Why not get an extra cushion for your tushin? Perfect. Let's go ahead, take these out, and then replace the foam. The Grand Designs come with this cushion that you're able to unzip. And there's your, your cushion right there. I guess you would call it cushion or pad. You can remove this and change it. I mean, guys, that's thin. Now, you have to be careful when you're replacing this because you only have so much space in between here and down below here. So you can't get a thicker cushion because you only have enough space to put this cushion in. So what we've decided to do is high density one, which is harder to push down. That's way, this way our butts won't hit the wood. So today we are gonna head to a location called the Foam Factory. This place is awesome. This has so many different kinds of foam and I'll put the link in the description below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and click that bell for notifications. That would help us a lot. So we are gonna run to the foam factory, it's called, and we are gonna get the right cushions for that with the more density. So let's go. Okay, we are here. We are at the foam factory. Let's go inside and take a look at it. I will say that when I pulled up, it did say by appointment only due to COVID, you need an appointment. So thankfully I called when I was in the driveway and they actually accommodated me. They actually came out and got me and we went over a couple of foams and we are gonna go ahead. I placed the order. She's going to make it. I don't know if she's gonna make it now or do I gotta wait, but we will find out. Look at this. Right here? Yeah, if it's a floor and I'm thinking it, it is, but if you want it Jack Ron wrapped. What is Jack Ron wrapped? What does um, that mean? So what she said was that we're gonna go with the four inch Lux regular firm and we are going to wrap the inside this way it has uh, an extra support on it look at all that we got everything here that's going to be good okay so, so all we don't I need to sell you is the two pieces of foam okay so if you want to step over to that register under sounds the good running. good okay so i'll place that for you Will that be all for you today? That's it, yep. Okay. That's exactly what I want. Oh my gosh, the stuff she showed me, you can't even pinch. If you could see I'm pinching, the stuff she showed me is the same thickness, but so hard. You can't even push down on it. So that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so over my shoulder is the foam factor. I'll leave all the details down below. Basically I had to, I walked to the door and then they said that there was a sign that says appointments only. And I was like, uh oh. And I keep forgetting that it is COVID-19. So things do change. Things are changing around here. So I ended up calling them before I even started my vehicle. I called them and then they said, oh yeah, just come to the door. We'll let you right in. Very accommodating. Very good. I told her what I needed. Uh, she was very like knowledgeable. She told me what thickness I should use and we went with it. So what we have here is the two, one for each side of our dining room set. And check that out. Oh, that is going to be pretty cool to install. Sandy's going to be excited. So, uh, and then you can tell the difference about these two. You have the existing one. Yeah, it is a little thinner. I, I want to say maybe a quarter inch, not much. But then you got these two thick ones, and it's going to be much nicer. So, let's get back home and let's do it. By the way, the foam factory, I, like I said, I'll leave a link down below, but I did not make any money advertising for them. And I'm not getting reimbursed for anything. This is just, I want to share things that I 
do and things that work for me, I want to share it with you. So, you know, let's move on. Let's go back home. Welcome, everybody. We are back in the RV. We have the two foams that we purchased from the foam factory. Sandy does not know I am actually doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her in after I do it. I'm going to have her sit and I'm going to video that and see what her reaction is to what what was and what is now. I'm about to head out to go to Sandy's birthday dinner. And it's pretty cool because we are actually going to an igloo. Um, if you're not familiar with an igloo, since restaurants are shut down here in Michigan, an igloo is like a plastic tent, clear, see-through plastic tent. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna celebrate Sandy's birthday. But in the meantime, I have a couple hours. So I'm going to stuff, I'm gonna remove the old um, cushion, the one that you could push down with your hands, and look at this one. It's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna remove the old one and I'm going to install the new one. The problem that I just ran into was, as I was measuring, like making it even, this looks to be about two inches bigger, so I might have to go cut it. Um, but we'll see, so let's try it. I I'm gonna tell you, I think it needs to be cut down. Let's go cut this down real quick. So now that we got it cut down to size, all right, let's start loading this thing in and see how it goes. Oh, the heater shut off. Oh, am I a lot bit louder now? So let's just keep pushing it in here. It looks like it's fitting pretty good. Ooh, that actually zips pretty nice. That actually zips pretty nice. Let me put it on this side because, boy, I'll tell you what, it's almost the same density as the back, the back uh, pillow. So let's put it here. Yep, good. Let's make the pretty way. This way. That's not bad. It fits. Actually, it fits better. All right, let's do it. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can't even look at that. You can't even tell that I'm going down. Wow, did you hear that? Look, I'll go even go on the ends. See, look at that. That's the original. And this one is the updated one. I'll go on the end. Look at that. I can tell you right now, it's going to be beautiful in there when people sit on it. Oh yeah, I could literally sit here and work on my laptop. Not only that, when we lower this, let's do that now. All right, remember, I fixed this in the spring, so we should be good. Oh, I gotta tell you, oh yeah. Won't put my feet up. Actually, I'll use this as a pillow. Yeah, this is definitely better. I did pass 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. So I wanted to share with you, there's a website called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is awesome. Check it out, TubeBuddy.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Please click on my link. Gives you keywords of what you should be doing to your um, YouTube channel. It gives you SEOs. Uh, it gives you suggestions, and that's what led me to over 100,000 views on my YouTube channel. So check that out real quick. But for now, we are going out to dinner. I'm going to bring you along. We will bring Sandy back here to check out the questions. Let's go.
sitting at Blake's Orchard in Arvada, Michigan, and we're sitting in an igloo. And the reason for the igloos is because restaurants are not allowed to have indoor seating, so the smart thing to do from every restaurant was to create outdoor seating in an igloo. Pretty cool. With heat. With heat. What do you think? Perfect. This one is, look how square that looks. Mm-hmm. Is it, is it the same thickness? Yeah, not only that, the... So that way they're not pressing up on this right here because right. it's only going to stay in place. Right. And, and you're, you just kind of like, it's mm -hmm. such a shame when you sit here and you get up, like the whole bench becomes mangled, like all the cushions fall off. I think it looks, it actually looks better. That one looks flappy. Yeah. Oh, it, it just finally just feels like it gives you support. And what I was looking for was the same support that you get on the back. Mm -hmm. And that's so pretty much the same here. support as the back. Yeah. Perfect. What a great upgrade. I like that. Cool. I just got to go do that one real quick. It's in the other room. Okay. Cool. I like it. Sold. Okay. Good update. Well, there you have it. Sandy came in. She sat down, she noticed a huge difference between the original and the one that we did, um, the one we purchased at the foam factory. So one of the biggest things is sitting down in your butt, not touching the wood that holds up the pillow. So I made that minor modification, but still very affordable and you could do it yourself. So I'll tell you what, if you email me your address, I will send you a T-Squad, uh, can you see it? I will send you a T-Squad sticker. T I like these sticker um, swaps. I don't get into it too much because I'm not a sticker person to put it on our fridge and stuff like that. I actually get stickers from people and I put them on a magnet and I stick it on the on my fridge that way. This way I can remove it and put it on a different fridge or a different metal if I want to. So at this time, I wanna say thank you for watching us. Thank you for subscribing to us. Thank you for being part of the T-Squad family. And we will catch you.